Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening. I'm fine. Nice. Happy Wednesday. The middle of the week. Yes. How's feeling? <laughs> Wednesday is, is, uh, the, is the best day of the week. Why? For, for me. <laughs> ah, it's until uh, only two days for to go weekend. Oh, it's true. <laughs> You're almost, almost there in the weekend. Yes. It's true. Little, little weekend. <laughs> it's a short, short, short weekend. weekend. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let me load the screen, guys. Just a moment. Let's see. Have you guys watched the news that Guatemala is having strikes? Vieron las noticias de Guatemala. It's crazy. Yes, it's a, it's a very difficult. It's very serious, apparently. Yeah. And uh, then the other option that people had was Honduras, and now Honduras is also having strikes. Estaba viendo que alguna gente se estaba desviando por Honduras para venir por acá, pero ahora está eso porque ya también Honduras está en huelga y se pusieron a hacer como cosas. Híjole, eso sí no lo sabía. Ya están bloqueando caminos y todo. So it's, it's gonna be... Unámonos. Cabal, canasta, canasta básica a reventar aquí. <ríe> para variar. Todo para venir aquí. Yo que va a estar caro todo. Esto <ríe> es lo peor. Ok. We're gonna check the platform tonight. Um... Vamos a la plataforma, como estamos en el día 3 de esta semana, vamos a hacer la tarea que corresponde el día 2, que sería la de ayer. Okay. Estamos entonces con la tarea 2. That's the one we would do. Y nos dice, unscramble the question, type them correctly. All right? Y nos da nota importante, don't forget your capital letter and the question mark at the end. Okay. ¿Cómo ordenaríamos esto entonces? Bueno, ahí está ya. <laughs> Where do you go to school? Okay, ahí está en el primer. ¿Cómo pondría en la segunda? ¿Cómo ordenarían ustedes la segunda? What do you do? do? Exactly, ahí tenemos dos veces el do. Actuando en diferentes versiones. La primera, what do, es auxiliar. What do, you do es el verbo. Sí. What do you do, uh -huh. ¿qué haces? Ok, ¿qué haces? ¿Qué haces? Uh -huh. Number three. ¿Cómo ordenaríamos la número tres? Okay. Where uh -huh. does come from... That's where does come from? Mm, where does from John? Your... Where does John come uh, from? Mm -hmm. Where does where John, does John okay. come from? Yeah. yeah. And then we have where number does... four. Number where four. do mm -hmm. you play tennis? Correct. Thank you. Where do you play tennis? Okay. Where do you play tennis? And then number five. How <laughs> they. How, how they, they they do get to work? Al revés. How do they? Uh -huh. How do they get to work? At work. Uh -huh. okay. That would be. Okay. Se las voy a mostrar ahí para que las puedan ver en caso que les quieran they, tomar. Uh -huh. Ahí las tienen por si les quieren tomar captura o foto. Where do you go to school? What do you do? Where does John come from? Where do you play tennis? How do they get to work? Okay. Si se fijan, si se fijan sigue la estructura que veíamos en otro. That WH, auxiliary, subject, y después el verbo. WH, auxiliary, subject, verb. WH, auxiliary, subject, verb. Right? Mismo escenario. Entonces, todas van igual siempre. Siempre la primera, la auxiliar, la, el WH, perdón, la pregunta, la información, luego la auxiliar do or that, 
Siempre va justo después de la pregunta. Do or da, sujeto y verbo. Okay. Where do you live? What does she do? Where do we go? What do we eat? Right? And so on and so forth. Y ahí ustedes tendrían ya completada la tarea del día martes. Que sería ayer. Okay. Y ahí completan ya eso. And now we're going to check the student manual. Lo voy a compartir. Just a moment. Okay. Voy a compartir acá el manual ahorita. Okay. Estábamos viendo entonces information questions and the answers, right? Que las estructuras para contestar son o una oración afirmativa o una oración negativa, right? Cualquiera de las dos. Ocupamos volunteers para leer los, las que están acá. La pregunta y la respuesta. Pregunta y respuesta. Volunteers to read, please. Solo van a leer lo que está en esta columna. Okay. Hi. Okay, Eduardo, please. La número uno y la dos, please. What do, what do I do? Y luego answer. I supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. Correct. Thank you. And then number two, number three, and number four, si nos ayuda, Jonathan. So number three and number four. Okay. When do we when do we go to meeting? We go to meeting two times a week. Mm -hmm. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer needs. Correct. And the last one, what time do you take breakfast? Oh, I take breakfast at 8 a.m., right? So now, you can see usually depending on the subject, on the question, right? Por lo general, el verbo de la pregunta es el verbo que ocupan ustedes en la respuesta, right? Go to meetings, dependiendo, right? And then we go to meetings. How do they play? How do they plan? Uh, they investigate first, right? What time do they take breakfast? At 8 a.m., right? So it depends on the piece of information that you're looking for. Now, it says, create questions based on the answer. Vamos a crear preguntas basadas en las respuestas que ya tenemos acá. Por ejemplo, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. ¿Qué pregunta? Hay varias preguntas que podrían hacer. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que corresponde? Si alguien me contesta a mí, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. ¿Cuál podría ser la pregunta? When do you write the reports? Very good. When do you write the reports? Or what do you have to do at work? Right? It can be better. Pero eso está muy bien. Number two, I work in the blue building. Where do you work? Exactly. Where do you work? Number three, Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. What would it be? What, what time you start with work to work? Uh, what time do you guys or what time do you start to work. Y yo se refiere a ustedes, all right? What uh -huh. time do you start to work? Ah, Maria y yo, we start working at 10 p.m., all right? Very good. Number four, we design and others create the new product. Number four. How do you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, try then new product? Correct. How do you create any product, right? We design and the others create it. Okay. The, I just want to explain the process. Okay. And number five, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. A is still in reunion. Okay. 
porque nosotros tenemos que ver. They have a meeting because we have to talk about inflows and out, en lo que entra y sale, right? Podría ser. Why? Uh -huh. Why do they have Why a do? meeting? Why do Why they? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why do they have a meeting? Perfect. Okay, so it says, it says on the next exercise, create questions with the WH words provided below, then ask the questions to a party. Okay, son cinco preguntas las que van a escribir ustedes a continuación. Una pregunta usando what, una usando when, una usando where, why, and who. Okay, son cinco preguntas, son individuales, escriben la pregunta y se las van a ir haciendo uno a otro, ¿ok? Solo las preguntas, el, su compañero o compañera le va a ir contestando, ¿ok? Para eso les voy a dar cinco minutos, ¿ok? Cinco preguntas, cinco minutos. Eso es individual, recuerden, una pregunta por cada uno de los que está acá. No escriban la respuesta es porque ustedes le van a hacer esas preguntas a sus compañeros.
Okay, five minutes have passed. If you have your questions ready, raise your hand. Los que ya terminaron sus preguntas, levanten la mano y vamos a empezar con ustedes. Ok, tenemos Carmen. One moment. Y veamos quién más ya está listo para contestar las preguntas. Let's see. Vamos a saber para poder asignarlo. Luis, perfect. Carmen, usted le hace sus preguntas a Luis primero, por favor. Let's begin. Ok, uh, Luis, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, what time is it? It's 70, it's 17, 17. Ok. Yeah. Ok. It's 19, Where? 19, 17. 1919 PM. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second question, Carmen. Uh, when is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is 9 of May of the next year. Okay. Uh, where do you go if you want peace? I go to the church. Okay. Why do you go to sleep late? Repeat me. Why do you go to sleep late? I go to sleep after the class for rest for many words all day. <laughs> okay. okay, and with this before, I said, yeah, because I want to rest. Mm -hmm. All right. Y, la última. La última. Who do you exercise with? I do exercise with my friend. All right. Okay. Very well answered, Luis. Very good listening. Muy buen oído también. Thank you. Okay, Luis. Thank you. Uh, Carmen, cuando cerremos la ronda, vamos a cerrar con usted. Okay. Luis, usted le va a hacer sus preguntas a continuación a Zulma, por favor. Zulma, you ready? Yes, teacher. All right. Estoy cocinando, pero aquí estoy. <risa> Ay, estoy bien. Luis, vamos. Zulma, okay. what do you do in the English class? Sorry, uh, repeat. What do you do in the English class? What do you do in the English class? ¿Qué hace en la clase de inglés? Mm. Uh, I, I am I, I, mm -hmm. I uh, aprender como learn. I learn. I learn um, my sub, eh, no, no tengo en te, eh, la pronunciación como es para superarse. I learn to uh, Achieve, sería. I learn to achieve. I learn, I am, I learn to achieve. Okay. Second question. When do you visit your family? Um. <laughs> no, visito, pero. <laughs> when, cuando. Uh -huh. I... Uh, Saturday. Pero completa. I visit my father on Saturday. I visit in the father, uh, family uh, Saturday. 
All right. Number three, Luis. Where is your house? Where? I wonder. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, my house is um, Aldea Bolaños. All right. Number four. Why do you learn English? Por qué? Why do you learn English? Because. For because. Sin el for. Solo ah, because. Sin el for. Solo because. Mm -hmm. Because uh, English favorite is my favorite. Is my favorite. Okay. And the last question, Luis, please. Who is your favorite actor? Who? Quien? Who is your favorite actor? So, my favorite actor is. Um. Uh, my favorite actor is Rambo. All right. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Luis. Very good question. Sí, que estoy haciendo pancakes. Okay. Muy bien. Si tiene chance, usted le hace las preguntas a continuación a Eric. Ajá, ya las tengo. Okay. ¿A poco usted se las hace a Eric, por favor? Okay. Eric, you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. Eric, um, what uh, you like now? Please, please. Re repeat it, please. Okay, permit me. Uh, what do you like now? Where do you? Where do you live? Ah, okay. Where do you live now? Where do you live now? Where do you live now? I I am <clears throat> I am living in Candelaria La Frontera. Okay. Okay. Uh, two. When you come back from Spain? When do you come back from Spain? When do you come back? Okay. When do you come back from Spain? I come back next year. Okay. What, mm -hmm. what do you yesterday night? Is that what teacher said? Eso sería en pasado, Zulma. Y ahí no, no estamos en pasado, pero le puede preguntar qué hace cada noche. Ah, what do you do what, at night? No, no, no. What do you do eh, tomorrow? Eso sería futuro. Tiene que ser en presente, Zulma. En presente. Como, ajá, por ejemplo, ¿qué haces en las noches? What do you do at night? Ah, what do you do at night? Uh -huh. um, I, I do... Eat dinner, then I I receive English okay. class. Correct. Right. Solo que sin el do. I do no. I, do. I, I, oh. I eat dinner. I receive class. Uh -huh. I, oh, I eat dinner and I uh -huh. I receive class English. Very good. English. Uh -huh. Number four, Thelma, please. How many children? Eh, no, no creo que es al revés. How many do you children have? No, la primera. No. La primera sería. Okay. How many children uh -huh. do you have? Sí, porque ahí le está preguntando cuántos niños tiene. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I, I have one child. Okay. And the last question. When, uh, when was your birthday? My my birthday is April. 
Thank you. So, my good question, Eric. A continuación, usted le va a hacer sus preguntas a Jonas, please. Thank you, teacher. Vamos con Eric, sus preguntas para Jonas. Ready, Jonathan. I'm ready, Eric. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. When do you play soccer? I play soccer in, in the park. En esto tengo dudas, ahí me corrige, teacher. Okay. Where does, where does my sister live? Le está preguntando dónde vive mi hermano, dónde vive su hermano. Ajá, uh, tendría que ser... Your sister. Your... Uh -huh. Your sister. Uh -huh. Where does your sister... Uh -huh. My sister Where? live... Para Hegalán. Live or lives? Lives. Lives. Esta es la persona. Ajá, y cuando contesta, sí, es lives. Very good. En la pregunta no, porque llevamos el auxiliar. Das. El auxiliar, das. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Number four. Why do you wake up early? <laughs> I wake up early because uh, yesterday I I I sleep the night. Falta uno. Who who? Ah, eso no lo había terminado, tish. Ah, ok, bye. Nos quedamos con esas. Con esas cuatro. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Ok, Jonathan. Okay. Usted le hace sus preguntas a Oswaldo, por favor. Mister. Ok. What is your name? <laughs> hey, my name is Oswaldo. <laughs> Oswaldo <laughs> Salguero. So difficult. Uh, but, uh, my... ¿Cómo se dice? What? Sí, sí, sí. Segunda pregunta, Jonathan. Segunda pregunta. Uh -huh. When do you go to United States? What? When do you go to United States? Uh, it's possible for, um, for next year. Yeah. It's, right. it's possible to go to the United States the next year. All right. No, Where sorry. do we tomorrow? What? Excuse me. Where do we eat tomorrow? Um, tomorrow mm -hmm. I eat. Tomorrow eat. We, no. we eat. We we. Tomorrow it in the in the metro centro. Okay. Okay. Why do you sleep? What? Why? Because I sleep, uh, but I stay tired, very tired. <laughs> okay. And number five. Who come late yesterday? Who come late yesterday? Uh, no, I don't understand. Mm, eso sería en pasado. ¿Quién vino tarde ayer? Pero eso sería who came. Pero estamos en presente. Pero puede ser ah. una pregunta en presente. Por ejemplo, who comes late every day? ¿Quién viene tarde todos los días? Um, who comes late every day? Every day. Um, uh, Marcos. Marcos. Marcos come late every come? day. Marcos come uh -huh. late every day. Uh -huh. But they come late, come late every day. Comes late. Uh -huh. Comes late yeah. every day. Perfect. Very good. Jonathan, very good question. Thank you. Oswaldo, usted le va a hacer las preguntas a Luis. Ah, no, a Carmen. Y cerramos, la, cerramos ya la ronda con Carmen. ¿Ok? Teacher. Dígame. 
Hey. Oh, muy bien, Zulma. I, I have hungry. Qué bárbaro, Zulma. Se ven bien, póngale mielita, Zulma. Aprovecha, Zulma. Vamos con... Oswaldo, se dice la pregunta a Carmen para cerrar la ronda, por favor. Where do you go in the afternoon? Carmen, el micrófono. Repeat me, please. What do you go in the afternoon? What or where? Uh -huh. Where where do you go in the afternoon? Excuse me. I go to the gym in the afternoon. Second question, please. When do we play the basketball? I don't play basketball. Where do he room in the morning? That's when, where, where, where okay. do, where does he, where does he room in the, room in oh, the morning? Where does he run in the morning? Where does he run in the morning? Where, location, where does he run? No lo entiendo. A donde corre, por las mañanas. Oh, run. No, uh -huh. run. Where does he run in the morning? Oh, excuse me, run. run. Uh, I run to... He runs? I don't run. <laughs> okay, ojo con el sujeto. Le pregunto, where does he run? ¿A dónde corre él? Oh. Oh, he doesn't he run. Does, uh -huh. He doesn't run. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. Well, the number three, please. Okay, the next. Why do you visit the doctor today? Why do you visit the doctor today? Okay, I got it. Because I have an appointment with the doctor. All right. Number four. Who is the neighborhood in the block? The neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, my neighborhood is my aunt. Okay. All right. And last question? Yeah, that's that's all. All right. <laughs> Very good, everyone. Okay. Ojo, dos cosillas que vamos a resaltar de este ejercicio. Uno, no me olvido. Pregunta de validate seguidita de un auxiliary. Do or does, dependiendo del sujeto. No me puedo saltar, por ejemplo, WH, sujeto, verbo. No puede ser. Tiene que ir al auxilio de antes. Where do you? Where does he? Where do we? Where does she? Con cualquiera de las W. Where es el un ejemplo. Okay? Y después el verbo. Where do we live? Why does she eat tacos? When do we live? What do we do? Right? So, siempre la W. Auxiliar, sujeto, verbo. Estos cuatro pasos. Right? Lo demás va a ser complemento. Y luego cuando contesto, ojo, dos cosas. ¿Qué verbo ocupan en la pregunta? Por lo general el mismo ocupa en la respuesta, a menos que sea diferente. Y dos, el sujeto. ¿Ok? Si me preguntan por él, contesto con he. Si me preguntan por my father, contesto my father. ¿Ok? De, ojo con esa parte de ahí. La mayoría está manejándolo bastante bien para ser el segundo día que estamos viendo este tema. Así que very good. So, we have the activity here on number seven. Nos dice, create a role play. Pretend you don't know each other. So you ask questions about your department and duties, okay? Para esta actividad van a entrar a la sala. Van a crear una conversación. Van a pretender que no se conoce nadie, okay? De los que están participando en cada sala. Y, van a y pueden inventar. No necesariamente tienen que ser de su trabajo actual porque no se conocen y saben qué hacen. Pueden inventar totalmente. Varios requisitos. Uno, preguntas de información o preguntas de sí o no, que ya las manejan. Okay. Affirmative, negative, pero con simple present, con el verbo to be o verbo de acción, ustedes o escojan. Y muy importante, que sea conversación algo larga. Okay. Como ya estamos tercera semana, ya no vamos a hacer conversaciones de cuatro líneas, ¿verdad? Uh -uh. 
vamos agregándole un poquito más, hablando lo más que se pueda por cada interacción, ¿ok? Así que van a entrar a la sala, van a tener 15 minutos, eh, según nos dice el ejercicio, creen un roleplay, una conversación, pretendan que no se conocen y empiecen a preguntar de su departamento, de sus actividades, ¿qué haces en tu departamento? ¿Qué so ¿De qué te ¿A qué te dedicas? Ah, soy reportero, ok, ¿qué haces? Aparte de dar noticias, ah, también hago reportes, también tengo que vigilar eso, etc. ¿Sí? Vayan creando una conversación, detalles, comentarios. Acuérdense que no es solo, what do you do? I am a, I'm a reporter. Mm, where do you live? I live in Ilopan. Es <laughs> así, no, ¿verdad? Que damos una conversación que fluya. All right? So you're going to have 15 minutes for this activity. Okay? Las salas están abiertas a partir de este momento, tienen 15 minutos. Si ocupan más tiempo después, cuando regresemos después de los 15, me dejan saber y se los, se los doy. ¿Okay? Pueden ingresar ahora a las salas. ¿Ya están abiertas las salas? Vamos ingresando.
¿Qué pasa? Hello. Vi que estaban pidiendo ayuda por acá. Hola, teacher. Ay, vi que estaban pidiendo ayuda. Sí, es que no, es que, eh, bueno, como yo estaba ocupada y cuando regresé solamente escuché que dijo que íbamos a entrar a sala y que no quería oración desde cuatro. Ajá. Pero ya pudieron. Entonces no entendíamos de qué lo teníamos que hacer. Ah, y ahorita. Pues ahorita hemos hecho algo um, porque no, no sabíamos específicamente de qué, ¿verdad? Um, okay. <ríe> ok, está bien, está bien. Va. Ya, porque ya vamos a regresar a la sala. Uh, Presentan la conversación que han hecho hasta ahorita, está bien. Pero para la próxima, pregúntenme. Antes de entrar, si no entendimos qué vamos, qué vamos a hacer, pregúntenme en el momento, no al final de los, de los 15 minutos, ¿ok? Sí, es que solo que, que cuando yo llegué, este, ya estaba entrando a la sala, entonces. Okay. Pero igual, ya, ya que me pueden pedir ayuda desde la sala, pero al, tiene que ser al principio, ¿verdad? Nomás entramos, ¿qué vamos a hacer? No sé, ah, va, pidamos ayuda. Ah, no, pero, pero así lo hicimos, ¿verdad, Luis? Para mí ahorita Sí. me acaba de aparecer. Ajá, ¿no? Y entonces ahí aparecía que estaba ayudando a alguien más. Uh -huh. Pero cuando regresé hasta ahorita me apareció eso. Ah, Vaya, pero no, si hicimos fue al inicio. algo de conversación, no se preocupe. Ahí vamos a estar, ¿ok? Ahorita vamos a regresar a la sala. Si necesitan más Ok. tiempo, lo dicen cuando regresemos para que se les pueda dar, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, ya regresamos. Me confirman si lograron terminar toda la conversación, no se ocupan más tiempo. Hello. Mm, Luis, no sé si pedimos cinco minutitos. Mm, cinco minutos para practicar. All right. Por favor. Está muy bien. Ahorita les abro la sala a todos. Listo, ya están abiertas. Tienen cinco minutos. Si ya terminaron la conversación los demás, ocupen el tiempo para repasar la conversación o practicarla y luego cuando regresemos vamos a hacerlo esto, ¿ok?
Ok, vamos a escuchar esas conversations. Entonces, tenemos en la sala 1 a Luis Escarate y Tulma Evangelina. Iniciamos, por favor. Ok. Hello, Zulma. What are you do? Hello, Luis. I am here way the bus. Why do you here too? My family live here and I want to visit them. Uh, when do you visit your family? I always visit them all Saturdays. Who is my your family? In my family are three people. My sister, my father, and my mother. And you, Sulma, where do you live? I live in, in the net street. Now, no, I work the passport to go to my work. Okay, see you, Sulma. See you, Luis. Finish. Alrighty, Luis, Zulma, thank you. You made a good situation from here. <ríe> Lograron adaptarse muy bien con el tiempo, así que de eso se trata. En la vida real no tengo Thanks. ya todo programado <ríe> lo que voy a decir, porque no sé, ocupo lo, lo que ya conozco y genero el inglés en el momento, que es lo que ustedes acaban de hacer, así que buen trabajo. Ok, vamos con los dos. Tenemos a Carmen Hernández y a Eric Guzmán, por favor. Ok. Okay. Hello, good afternoon. I am Eric Guzman and I will be your interviewer. Hello, good afternoon, Mr. Eric. I'm Carmen Hernandez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell me uh, about you yourself. Okay, I'm Carmen Hernandez. I'm 25 years old. I live in Candelaria de la Frontera and currently I'm looking a job. Okay, Carmen. What do you do in your previous job? In my previous job, I uh, I tell people when they need carnets or want to pay their bills because I work in I work in a city hall. Okay. Why do you leave your last job? Mm, sincerely, I leave my last job because my boss was very stressful and a rude person with the car workers. Okay. Uh, why do you want this job? Mm, because I want this job um, to earn money, to continue studying and achieve my dreams. Okay. Okay, do you su suffer from an illness? No, I don't. I am very healthy. Okay, Carmen, I will call you no notify about the job. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Very good, Carmen, Eric. A very specialized uh, conversation, job interview, right? Así que muy buen trabajo fluida con las preguntas y las respuestas con las estructuras correctas. So very good job. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to listen to room number three. In room number three, we have Josué Jonathan and Oswaldo Salguero. Please. Okay. Hello, Oswaldo. Hi, Jonathan. What about you? Hi, I am very happy. Why are you happy? Because this month is my birthday, Jonathan. Where is your birthday, Jonathan? My birthday is this month too. What day is your birthday? Ah, my birthday is October 3. And this day, my wife prepared a good dinner. Hey, when is the party? The party is in my house. It's a family party. Uh -huh. What do you in the work? What do you do in your work, Jonathan? In my work, clean computer. I clean computer. Where do you fix computers? 
I review the guarantee and I carry it to store, to the store. This is an excellent idea. I have a problem with my computer. When do you fix my computer? It's okay tomorrow? Yes, it's a good day for me. Tomorrow is a good day. Okay. When, where do you fix my computer? I fix computer in my house. Okay, I agree. I see you. Bye. All right, I love it. Very fluent conversation. You use WH questions, information, and then the answers, right? In first person, and then to give to a first service. If it's a muy buen trabajo, hasta la tres. Thank you. Okay, so now, antes de seguir, le voy a pasar la lista de asistencia because I tend to forget. So please be ready when you listen to your name. Solo un momento, por Okay, Alma Janet Martinez, Amy Espini Díaz, Carlos Eduardo García, Cesar Heriberto Roca, Cesar Omar Serna, Cruz del Carmen Hernández. Present. Thank you, Doris Cecilia Lima, Eric Rogelio Guzmán. Here. Thank you, José Mauricio Martínez, Josué Jonathan Roca. I am here. Thank you, Luis Enrique Escarate. Present. Thank you. Oswaldo Ernesto Salguero. I'm here. Thank you. Olga Lisset Boyad. William Ernesto Magaña. Zulma Evangelina Magaña. Present. Thank you. And Zulma Noemi Linar. Okay. So I'm going to share the screen with you guys. Just a moment. And then you're going to answer the questions. You're going to put them in the correct order, right? They are all scrambled here. So you're going to put them in order. Okay. So number one, where auxiliary do? Where do they come from? Okay. Where do they come from? Okay. Number two, como la colocaría? Where does she do? She exactly. Did. Yes. What does she do? Number three. When do you eat breakfast? All right. When do you eat breakfast? Oh, I eat breakfast in the morning at 9 a.m., at 7 a.m., etc. Right? Number four. Why does he study English? Correct. Why does he study English? Okay. Number five. How many do? How many books, books do you your... read per year? Correct. How many books do you read per year? Number six. How much does does he, he want? He sugar? want sugar. How much sugar? Cuando ocupamos how much or how many, se pregunta el qué. Okay, how much sugar, how many cups of sugar. Entonces, en esas dos, si va antes, right? How many, how much sugar does How much sugar he does want? Does he? Does he want? Does he want? Okay, number seven. How is your house? Exactly. How is your house? Oh, my house is fine. Oh, my house is very dirty, depending. Number eight. When do they play soccer? When do they play soccer? When do they play soccer? Number nine. Who reads short Who tales? Reads short Red. Tales. Who reads short tales? Number ten. When do you celebrate your birthday? Exactly. When do you celebrate your birthday? Eleven. Where does she Do read the newspaper? The newspaper. Perfect. Well, how many do you oh, have brothers? How many brothers do you have? How many? Uh, how, how, many, many how, uh, how many? 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 How
Uh, how many brothers, brothers do you, do you have? have? Mm -hmm. Number 13. How often does she travel by Europe? Mm -hmm. How often does she travel by Europe? 14. Who studies English? English. Exactly. Who studies English? Right? 15. Where do they Where go? Do exactly. Where do they go? Where do they go to school? Oh, they go to school in Salvador, they go to school in Santa Ana, et cetera, right? 16. What does your sister buy in a in the store? In the uh, store. Okay. What does your sister buy in the store? 17. Oh. How, how often? Mm -hmm. How often does he uh, mm -hmm. the movies? go to the movies? Correct. How often does he go to yes, the movies? Go to the mm -hmm. movies. Exactly. Very good. You were using the, the auxiliaries correctly. Correctly. Very good. Okay. We have a reading section here. I'm going to need two volunteers. I'm going to need four volunteers. Cada párrafo va de dos en dos. Okay. Okay. Uh, Carmen? Me All right. Carmen, help us with the first paragraph from Don Dice Alex hasta past seven. Okay. Okay. Eric, okay. Nos ayuda, Eric nos ayuda desde he gets up hasta el final de su parada. Okay. 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 Vamos dos voluntarios más para el siguiente. Hi. Okay. Oswaldo nos ayuda desde classes begin hasta all together. Sí, Jonathan, nos ayuda, por favor, desde Alex hasta el final. <coughs> Let's begin, please. Okay. Alex is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a mother house. He's 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day about half past seven. He get out, goes to the bathroom, take a shower, brush his teeth, and get dressed. Then he he has breakfast and and at a quarter to eight he leave home at home and catches the catches the bus. To, to go to school. Okay. Classes began at half past eight. He usually has, has lunch at quarter past, past five. He goes home. There he does his homework. And when he finishes in the house, in his room, sitting the table, at half past seven, the family e family has dinner all together. Alex is a very helpful boy. So he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV a while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock, the most he brushes his teeth again put on his pyjama and go and go to bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alex is a very happy boy. Alrighty. Okay. Now we have the questions true or false regarding the reading. Okay. Letter A. You're going to tell me if it's true or false depending on the um, on the reading. Okay. Letter A. Alex is from U.S. True. Yes, yes he is. Mm -hmm. Correct. Letter B. He lives in a modern flat. No. False. Okay, that's false. Vive en una casa, no en un apartamento. Right? Letter C. He is 11 years old. True. Exactly. Letter D. He has got two brothers. Mm 
False. That's false. Exactly. Letter E. Alex wakes up at eight o'clock. False. Okay. At what time does he wake? Um. No. Of half past seven. A las siete y media. All right. Good. So we got letter F. He walks to school. True or false? Letter F. He walks to school. False. He exactly. <laughs> Catches the bus. Catches the bus. Mm -hmm. False. And so letter G. His classes begin at half past eight. Yes. True. It's true. It says class it's begin true. at half past eight. Eight. Alex and his family have dinner at half past eight. That's true. Okay, let's see. At half past well, seven. False. It's false. Uh -huh. yes. at half past seven, not past eight. <laughs> no, letter I. He brushes his teeth. Twice a day. He True. brushes his teeth twice a day. True. True. Okay. Y lo mencionaba dos veces. One, one, la primera en la mañana y luego that. <laughs> Number, well, last one. He is lazy and never helps his mother. True or false? False. Exactly, <laughs> the opposite, right? He helps them. He helps his mother setting the table, right? The mother cleaning. Mm -hmm. And cleaning. So no, he's not lazy. He's close, right? Okay. So here's what you're going to do right now. A continuación, van a entrar a la sala. Les voy a dar el acceso para compartir pantalla. Y ustedes van a hacer un ejercicio exactamente igual a este. Van a escribir dos párrafos grandes con información sobre alguien. Un sujeto, ustedes lo pueden inventar. Pongan tanta información como puedan mencionar en tercera persona, obviamente. ¿okay? Incluyen oraciones negativas también. ¿okay? Eso siempre ayuda a variar las afirmativas y negativas. He doesn't or she doesn't. Y luego las demás, he goes, he eats, right? en tercera. Al final van a ser exactamente como tiene que verse su presentación como esta. La información del o la individuo. Y van a escribir seis preguntas. Acá hay como diez. Por eso van a escribir seis. ¿Sí? Seis preguntas que son igual. True or false. Lo van, así como es acá. Se va a escribir la oración. Y sus compañeros van a irles contestando. Cada sala les va a ir contestando. ¿Sí? Así que van a tener 15 minutos para este ejercicio. Las salas están abiertas a partir de este momento. Si necesitan más tiempo después. Me avisan cuando regresemos. Pero por ahorita tenemos 15 minutos.
All right. Did we finish the activity or do we need more time? Terminamos toda ya la actividad o necesitamos unos minutos. Room three, finish activity. Okay, perfect. Vamos a iniciar entonces. Escuchamos a la sala uno. Tenemos a Carmen Hernández y a Luis Escarat. Go ahead, please. Pueden compartir la pantalla en un minuto. Le voy a dar el acceso de nuevo. Listo, ya pueden compartir la pantalla. Las demás salas, pongamos atención porque vamos a contestar si es true or false después. Eh, Luis, si gusta, lo lee usted. Bueno, está bueno. José is a new worker in a city hall in Candelaria de la Frontera. He is 25 years old. He is a younger man. He lives in Santa Ana City with his parents and his brother and sister. He has two brothers and three sisters. He likes spends time with his family on weekends. His day starts at 5 a.m. He wakes up and get up to take a shower and brush his teeth. Then he prepares his breakfast and get ready to go to his job because he travels every day. He takes the bus at 7 a.m. to his job. When he turns back to his home, to his job, he goes to the church. After that, he takes lesson to learn English to complete his day. He gives Spanish lesson to help people who learn Spanish language. He is a very kind person and helper. He always tries to help who need it. On weekends, he spends his time to help in his house, his house, and the afternoon, he takes a nap to rest. Also, he goes to the gym on Saturdays to keep healthy. And Saturdays, he goes to visit his family in Pajonal. All right. Okay, let's demos a la vamos a contestar las preguntas. Okay. Um, number one, is Jose a new worker? Yes, he is a he is a new worker. Okay. Is Jose an older man? No, he's a uh, 25 years old. Mm -hmm. Jose have three brothers and one sister. ¿Cómo sería esa pregunta? Falta un auxiliar ahí. ¿Tú sería? ¿Tú, no, José? ¿Tercera no. persona? Das, das mm -hmm. Jose have three brothers and one sister? Correct. Okay. Okay. Does Jose have three brothers and one sister? Yes, he does, or no, he does. He does. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. No, no, it's he, not. Uh -huh. Yes, he does or no, he does. Carmen? No, he, does. no, no, he, he does. doesn't. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh -huh. Next one. Number four. Is Jose live with his family? Mm. Verb to be y verbo de acción live. ¿Cuál es la correcta forma de esta pregunta? Uh, do... 
tercera? Das, José, Lee, Ajá. and his family. Yes. <laughs> okay. Das, das, das José, José Lee, with his family. family. Yes, he does. People, you have to answer. <laughs> you have yeah. to answer, guys. Number five, can we please? Does Jose like to take a nap on weekends? Does Jose like to take a nap on weekends? Lo tienen justo a la vista. On weekend, he spends. Yes, he does or no, he does. Mm -hmm. No, yes, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Yes, he yes, does. He, he takes a nap to rest. Mm -hmm. And number six, Carmen. Does Jose visit the shore? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, All right. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Es la respuesta. Where is it, though? Goes to visit his family. ¿En qué párrafo está? De? En Pajonal. Oh, he está. goes to church. He, yes, he oh. does. Then. All right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yes, very good job. Room number one. Okay, let's go with room number two right now. One moment, I just got my pet. Okay, room number two, we have Eric Guzman and Jose Jonathan. Please. Tú puedes compartir, Eric. Ah, uh, solo que tome foto a ver si si sale. Si quieren quedamos de último nosotros para poder este tomarle foto y, y, y pasarlo y yo okay. lo paso. All right, vamos a escuchar entonces a la sala 3. Tenemos a Oswaldo Salguero y a Zulma Evangelina. Ok, eh, voy a tratar de compartir la pantalla. Ok. Okay. See the, see the screen. It's loading. Story. It's a, it's a short history. All right. Okay. But I I the question don't take a, don't have a questions. But what? The van a hacer en el aire. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So my Sí, espérame, lo estoy ampliando porque no lo veo. Es muy chiquito. Es muy corto. Es que no tengo, no tengo los lentes conmigo. Do you need a lupa? <laughs> ok. Uh, we talk about of Mr. José Bolaños. Otro José. Ok. Uh, Mr. Bolaños has a sixteen years old. No, have no es el verbo para eso. El, el día, la semana uno se lo di. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Bolaños uh -huh. is, is is a year six, six, sixty years old. He uh, y acá he lives in San Cristóbal. Uh -huh. Ahí está bien, teacher. Yes. Okay. The family of Mr. Bolaños is a big. Sí, la. Perdón. 
is big. Sina. Is is big. Uh, ahí he has. Cual lo... La siguiente es he has. Ajá, ahí he. Has. Uh -huh. um, by some um, a grandson. Uh -huh. He is a businessman. 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 Uh -huh. He has a store in downtown. Así downtown. Downtown. Uh -huh. Y aquí es, estuvimos un poco confundiditos, pero lo los escribimos así, ¿verdad? His children work with him. With him, eso está bien. Solo que children no lleva eso. Ah, ok. Every Sunday, the, he visits his cousin in the mountain. The Italian of your span time in remember the adventures in the river in the river in the river mm -hmm. mr bolaño like more mountain than the city because the mountain are fresh and the it's a cold temperature. 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 Mm -hmm. But he goes only Sunday. Okay. But he goes only Sunday. Okay. His question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what years hold? What what years old Mr. Bolaños? What is how, how old? How, how, how old years old Mr. Bolaños? He is 60 years old. Yes. Okay. Uh, how much sons and and son and grandsons have has Mr. Bolaños? How many? How many? How many sons and grandsons, Mr. Bolaños? Does Mr. Bolaños have? Ah, that's Mr. Mm -hmm. How many sons and grandsons does Mr. Bolaños have? He has five sons and eight grandsons. Mm-hmm. Una más. Why Mr. Bolaños visit the mountains? Why Mr. Bolaños or why does Mr. Bolaños? Why does Mr. Bolaños visit the mountains? Uh -huh. Veamos los demás. Because the mountains are fresh and have a cool temperature. Very good, Carmen. Thank you. <laughs> Carmen, la única que nos está prestando atención. Qué bárbaros. Thank you, Carmen. Very good. <laughs> That's the right answer. Okay. Ojo, cuando son preguntas largas, por eso les decía, memoricémonos las estructuras. Yo me las memorizo, mi cerebro se va a asegurar de que no me falte ninguna de las partes, right? Pero si solo la veo una vez al día, en la noche que vengo a la clase, me va a costar un poquito. También que cuando son preguntas más largas y las voy creando en el momento, tengo que irme acordando. Okay, why, how many, ¿qué va? Ah, auxilio. ¿Qué es el que sigue sujeto? Mr. Bolaños. Entonces, tercera persona. How many uh, sons and grandsons does Mr. Bolaños have? Right? Y así. Very good job. Thank you, Zulma en Osvaldo. Muy buen trabajo. Y vamos a escuchar a continuación entonces de los que teníamos ahí pendientes. Eric and Jonathan, right? <laughs> eh, necesito que deje de compartir, Oswaldo, please. Okay, but I don't, I don't know. 
Okay. Creo que igual pueden compartir ya, Jonathan. Porque está habilitado para que todos puedan compartir. Pueden ver este, unos, unos apuntes algo raros. <ríe> no. Uh -uh. Screen is slow, está cargando, dice. Slowly. Cartita de amor, veo yo. <ríe> Bye. Ah, Ahora es... sí. Ahora sí. Ahí va. Ok. <ríe> Juan Pérez, he is a Salvadorian, but he lives in New York. He lives or he lives? He lives. Uh -huh. He lives in New York with your with, with his this? wife uh -huh. and his son, Carlos and Maria. Juan Perez is 40 years old and he works in the Madison Square Garden in the in the, in the maintenance department. Maria Perez, his wife, is <coughs> Five year old. She works in the hospital. She's a nurse. They are a happy family. Carlos and Maria study every day in the same school. They start his day about at 6 a.m. Juan take a shower and she prepare the breakfast. All family, they are go to work. In they his go. car, they go. They go. They go to work in his car, and guys take the bus to school. Okay. Y ahí tenemos algunas oraciones de falso y verdadero. Okay. De los demás salas pendientes. He works in the Madison Square Garden. He works in Madison Square Garden. True. It's yes. true. Story. It's true. true. Yes. Padre. <laughs> he is a father. Yes. True or false? Yes. True. True. He, have he has <laughs> a family. True. He has. Oh, yes. Tercera persona. Yes. And it's true. True. He has a family. He has son. He has a family. All right. All right. Hasta That's ahí. it. Perfect. Está muy bien. Muy buen trabajo. <laughs> Felicito, thank you. Se adaptaron. Muy buen trabajo. De eso se trata. No me quedo, no dejo de participar, no dejo de hablar y practicarlo. Así que muy buen trabajo. Right? Vamos a pasarles a asistencia por última vez esta noche. Please be ready when you listen to your name. Okay. Um, Alma Yanet Martínez, Almi Esquini Díaz, Carlos Eduardo García, César Heriberto Roca. César Omar Perna, Cruz del Carmen Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Doris Cecilia Lima, Eric Rogelio Guzmán. Ah. Eric Rogelio Guzmán. Here. Thank you, Eric. José Mauricio, José Jonathan Roca. Present. Thank you. Luis Enrique Zarate. Present. Thank you. Melissa Lisset Álvarez. Oswaldo Ernesto Salguero. Present. Thank you. Ulda Lisset, William Ernesto, Zulma Evangelina Magaña. Present. Thank you. En su hermano Emi Dinar. Ok, eso sería todo por esta noche. Recordarles que ya nos quedan solo siete clases. Mañana dos, mañana, bueno, mañana y el viernes dos y las cinco de la otra semana. Así que a no faltar, a no faltar y a practicar lo más que se pueda. Ok. Have a good day tomorrow. We look very long. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. A good night. Take care. Good Take night, care. everyone. Yeah. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night.